So hello guys and girls, how are we all doing today? Good, I hope. <laughs> So, a few things to go through today. Um, first one being... Cue the music! Oh, wait a minute. It's... It's Game of Fools. Game of Fools. Right, okay. Never mind. So yes, Game of Fools. I have uh, been nominated to do Game of Fools by... My good buddy Grams. So... I suppose I'll just do, do answer the questions and do Game of Fools then. So in case you haven't heard about this, Game of Fools is four questions and you have to give four answers for each question. Nice and simple. <laughs> so they say. So the first question is what's your favourite food? Now it's a good job you've got four answers. Because, uh, I couldn't decide on a favourite food, if it was just one. So, uh, I'd say the top of my list, I enjoy a good steak. I really do. Um, sirloin, fillet steak, you know, anything like that. A good inch thick it has to be though, you know, yeah, money's worth. And uh, I like it medium rare. You know, just, just nice, lovely. Um, next one. I'd have to say haggis. You know, being Scottish and all, but I actually do enjoy haggis. Haggis is nice, and if any of you guys over in the states are watching it, if you can get your hands on some, try it. You know, it's really good. It's well worth the experience. And I suppose the next favourite one is the one that I cook. And uh, that's roast duck. Yeah, it's tasty. It's different from chicken. Yeah, it's totally different from chicken actually, it's a completely different taste. But uh, yeah, I make a good roast duck dinner. And what makes it even better? The family like it too. Right, so that's three. Number four, my last one. Um, I suppose scenes I've done, can you tell I'm not vegetarian by the way? I suppose since I've done mostly meat, I've put in a kind of treat. Um, now if I was given the choice of choosing savoury or sweet, I think I would have to go with sweet. I would have a bit of a sweet tooth. And if I could have anything, I would have cheesecake. Love cheesecake. So yeah, that would be my fourth one, cheesecake to have after my medium rare steak, my haggis and my roast duck dinner. Bit of a fat get really, but that's what I do. So question number two, what's your favourite drink? Um, hmm. Well, for non-alcoholic drink, would have to be tea. I like a nice cup of tea. And a soft drink I will go for... Uh, Dr Pepper, actually. I'd take Dr Pepper over, like Coke or anything like that. And since I am of drinking age, or over drinking age I should say, I like a beer. I'm not going to lie, I do like a beer. Um, not really any particular brand, just a beer's a beer in my eyes, you know. However, my last one. Again, being Scottish, whiskey. 
I love of whiskey. Within moderation, of course. But, um, and I'm, I'm not just talking your bog standards, famous grouse, bells, things like that. No, no. I enjoy my malt whiskies. So, you know, um, well, I've got two just now. I have a 15 year old Dalmore, which is a really nice whiskey. And I also have a Japanese whiskey uh, called Jamakaze. Um, yeah, I know, not very Scottish, but it is a lovely wee dram. It is really nice. If you're into whiskey, like whiskey. Try out some of the Japanese ones. They are brilliant. Uh, question three. Places I have been. Well, um, as some of you may know if you've watched any of my earlier videos, I was in the army, so I've served and been in you know quite a few different places. But I'll go for a, a few of the more obscure ones that I, not many people have been to. Um, one of my favourites, or to say the first one of my favourites, I've been down in the Falklands, the Falkland Islands, way down south, just outside Antarctica. Um, I was down there for four months, doing doing what we do, and uh, it was brilliant. It was fantastic. The the wildlife about the place, you know, you're seeing penguins and reindeer and seals and all the rest of it out in their natural environment, you know, not in a zoo or on Discovery Channel or anything like that, Animal Planet, you know. And see though, I'll give you a wee tip, see even though penguins look nice and cute, yeah, they ain't, they're bastards. They'll fucking attack you if they get the chance to. And um, they smell really bad. And I've got a funny story about penguins that I'll cover that another time. Um, where else have I been? Ah, Canada! I mentioned Canada to a few people. I've been over there quite a lot. Um, for training purposes and for recreational purposes. Because um, I didn't used to do mountaineering and rock climbing and all the rest of it. So my last trip to Canada, I was over there for a month. Um, and we were just climbing the Rockies, the Canadian Rockies. But we said, but you know, there's a lot to take in, you couldn't do them all in a month. So we didn't touch anything that was any smaller than 3,000 metres. It was all 3,000 metres and above that we'd done. And it was brilliant, lovely place. The people are so nice, they're really friendly. And uh, yeah, good days that were. Good days. Um, where else have I been? Oh, Bosnia. That's an interesting place. Um... I was across there when it was there summer time, so you know, it wasn't freezing cold and snowy like you usually see. Uh, yeah, it was a, a six month operational tour I was there for. Um, yeah, interesting place, complicated place. And lastly, where will I say? Where will I say? Um, another place I enjoyed actually was Germany. I lived in Germany for a number of years. And uh, they do good beer. You know, it has its bonuses. Um, so yeah, there's my four places. The Falklands, Canada, oh, bumpy bumpy, Bosnia and Germany. Um, Question four. Names that I am known by. Well. <laughs> oh, there's been a few. There has been a few. Um. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, sorry. You've got my name. My real name. Jim. Right, so I get called by Jim. By my friends. <laughs> you know, the ones that like me anyway. Um. Being in the army. And being over six foot tall, six foot five to be exact, you get lots of different names. Um, I suppose the one that got used the most was Lurch. 
as in lots from the Adams family, because you know, big tall skinny guy, that was me. I, what else have I been known by? These two I like just as equally as each other, so you know, it's not any preference. I like both of these names. Um, first one being Husband. Um, really like that name. I enjoy that bit of a title. But not as much as I enjoy Dad. Uh, that's a good name. That's a great name to have, Dad. And another little one along the way, which will be absolutely, absolutely cracking, as they say. So there you go, there's my Game of Fours. And now I just need to nominate four people to do them. So we shall have... Dun dun dun! My buddy over in the States, Mike Mike Motorbike. Let's hear you buddy. Uh, we shall also have Sandy Bird over in Canada. Uh, she's not a vlogger, but she's a blogger, so you can read what she says. Who else will we have? Oh, I we'll have a, a UK vlogger. We'll have Six Mifty. And last but certainly not least, we'll have Wheels Not Heels. So there you go, guys. Right, so I may as well do a little bit of explaining. Because um, you've probably no doubt seen, yeah, I'll definitely in my last video, if you watched that, I was cutting in little snippets of a an intro and if you've been on Facebook or you follow any other guys you'll see um, 12 wheels around happening now the deal with 12 wheels is a group of us vloggers, 6 of us in fact 12, you know, 12 wheels around, 6 guys, two, 6 bikes, 12 wheels it's pretty, pretty clever, keep it simple um, we've decided just to make up a bit of a a crew. It's also good. It's got the initials SMK in it, which is um, Scottish Motor Crew. Crew with a K. Keep it down to the kids. And it's just going to be about you know the kind of things that we got up to. We're all good friends. Um, in fact, I'd say we're more than friends. We're like family. It's really bizarre. It's we come from completely different walks of life, and um, yeah, you'd think we were all related. It's great. It's awesome. Cracking bunch of guys. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be doing some stuff. We're going to have rideouts and trips away and things like that. And the first one's going to be happening in November. Um, we're going down to the NEC in Birmingham for the motorcycle live show. And down there I'm going to be doing, uh, well, I've managed to get a test ride for the new um, Triumph Tiger 800. So there'll be footage about that, and no doubt there'll be the shenanigans of the trip down. Um, <laughs> leaving at a stupid o'clock in the morning and heading out, it should be good. So check out the other guys um, in the crew, you know, I'll put the links to their channels down below. Um, you have R6 Monkey. Uh, the Flying Jock, Zedhead, Chicken Boys, and Grams. I'll put all the links down there. You know, drop over, drop them a, a sub, um, like them on, or follow them on Twitter, all the rest of it. Like the 12 Fuels Around page, I'll put that down below. And uh, yeah, there's more to come from that, guys. Should be exciting times. But anyway, I have taken up far too much of your time. You know, I've, uh, I'm going to go home and get dried off. It stopped raining. And I thought, yes, here we go, I can go out and get one done. And, uh, yeah, welcome to Scotland. So, lots of info for you. Remember the nominations. Um, remember to like the video. Put down a little comment. Hit that subscribe button. Smash it, smash it. And you can follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, I was a friend on Facebook. 
And don't forget about the guys as well. They've all got their social media and uh, Twitter and YouTube. Throw a sub to them. Oh, I'm on Instagram now. There's going to be some pictures on Instagram. The link's down below for that as well. Yeah, I'm going to sit in this traffic. You just go about and carry on. So until the next time, guys. Right safe now. You hear? Right safe. And I'll talk to you later. Take it easy, all. This is the Tartan Visor. And I'm out. I'm <laughs> sorry.